course of the sailing, I want to talk about the principles of weather, a few experiments we're going to do. The first one shows that hot air holds more moisture than cold air. So what I've done, I've taken a bottle, put water in, frozen it overnight in the freezer, and then taken it out. As we have a look at the surface, we can see there's water on the surface, which is called condensation. So we have the cold air on the bottle meeting the warm air around us. As the warm air meets the cold air, it can't hold the moisture. So it comes out of the air and it hits the surface, which on this, this happens to be the bottle. So we get water as condensation forming on the surface. And that is because the cold air around the bottle doesn't hold as much moisture as warm air around us. So we get condensation. This happens when air masses meet. So when warm air and cold air meet, we get condensation and it sticks on particles and it forms clouds. Next, we're gonna make our very own cloud. So what I've done, taking the bottle again, a little bit of water inside, giving it a shake so it's moist inside. Um, and what we need to do is put some particles in there because when we make the cloud, the condensation has to stick to particles or as they call them, hydroscopic nuclei. So what we do, a little bit of smoke, pop it inside, give it a shake so we get the smoke evenly distributed in the bottle. And so we have a bottle with water in and some smoke. Then what we do is we squeeze it really hard. By squeezing it really hard, warms up the air inside. It's like a bicycle pump pushing and it squeezes and it warms up the air. And that warm air inside will absorb the moisture inside. So if I let go quickly, it goes cold and we get a cloud. There we go. I'll show you again. So squeeze it, you see it goes clear again and then it goes cloudy. As I'm squeezing it, it warms up and those water particles go into the air because it holds more water than cold. And then as we squeeze, it gets cold and those particles condensate on the dirt of the smoke and it forms our own cloud. Our next experiment is to make rain. So what we have is a bowl. Pop in that bowl boiling water from the kettle. So we have nice hot water in the bowl and we'll see the water vapour coming off the top. There we go, we see the water vapour coming off the top. And what we're going to do now is put a lid on top with cling film. And that will give us a barrier between the hot water and the ambient air around us. So here we go, cling film going on. And this cling film produces a barrier between the water vapour coming out, so the hot air in the bowl and the cold air around us. So pretty soon you can see on the surface of the cling film condensation happening. So that condensation with tiny droplets forming because as the, cold, as the warm air inside the bowl meets the cold air on the outside, it condensates because warm air holds more moisture than cold air. So as it hits a cold surface, we get condensation. So we just pull the cling film tight, condensation will form on the top. And if you put a little weight in the middle, the condensation will all run down to the middle. So the condensation builds up. We're gonna pop a weight in the middle here, push it down, and the condensation runs to the middle. And if you look just under the weight, you can actually see it dripping. We have made our own rain. So we have cold air, warm air. Warm air meets the cold air, condensates, condensation forms and it drips. You can see it dripping in the middle of the bowl. This is our very own rain. And this is the principle of hot air and cold air meeting on a front, condensating into clouds. Particles too big in the cloud, falls out the cloud, produces rain. And this is what happens in the atmosphere. So the principles are warm air rises. When warm air and cold air meet, we get condensation. That's because warm air holds more moisture than cold air. So we did this with a frozen bottle. We took it out, we've shown condensation on the surface. We've made a cloud by showing that warm air holds more moisture than cold air. So when we squeeze it in, the air warms up and it goes clear, let go, the air cools down and the moisture sticks to the particles and forms our very own cloud. And on the last one, we've got a frontal system. So we've got the warm air on one side, the cool air on the other side, we get condensation, produces water, the water runs down the top and it drips, so we have our very own rain 
Well, I hope you'd enjoyed this. Um, this is only part of a series of um, the weather. So have a look at our global weather, local weather, how to go weather forecast, and how to look at weather and how it actually means to you. And also as part of a whole plethora of tutorials from City Sailing. Um, hope you enjoyed them. Please like, subscribe, and send comments. We'd love to hear from you. Okay, thanks very much. See you soon. Out.